guys, this is Shauna Noel, and I'm super excited to be doing an unboxing video with you guys. Today, we are looking at the July kit. This is the devotional kit from Illustrate Faith and Dayspring. We wanted to make sure you feel loved and just appreciated when you open this box. Like it's a little gift for you to spend time in the Word and illustrating your faith, and I hope that comes across. I love this little cute card. It's a thank you card from me. And it also has the beautiful artwork from the cover on the front here. This month we have Janelle Jacobson and she is our guest artist. And look at her gorgeous work. I want to like just save it all but I won't because I promise myself to use it every month. Um, this is the ink pad that you get this month. It's this beautiful green and it goes so wonderfully with the kit that she's put together. Um, I love that one and I know I'll be using it a lot in the future. And um, this is the little envelope that you get and it's so stinking cute. Make sure to save your envelope and use it for things and this adorable paper clip. I realized at this point I had two in my box from my other kit because I get two when they first come in. And so I'm going to show you now the devotional. Now, can we just talk about this cover for a second? How gorgeous is it? I mean, it's pretty in the video, and I'm trying to adjust it so you can really see the details here. But when you see it in person, it is like the most amazing artwork you've ever seen in your life. Janelle is amazingly talented, and I'm so incredibly blessed that she was willing to share her talents, her heart, and just what God had laid on her heart for this week or for this month together. So I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I am enjoying it. And here I just wanted to show you the devotional. I'm noticing when I open the pages, um, this is kind of the first time I'm really flipping through it, that the pages are a little thicker, which I like because I like to do some art journaling on this. And I love the beautiful font that was chosen for the day dates. And then the back has that gorgeous painting again, which I just cannot get enough of. If you're feeling really brave, you could take off the back cover and use it to punch some beautiful shapes out of. Here's your beautiful Yes and Amen sticker, which is the name of this kit, Yes and Amen, because Janelle loves to say Yes and Amen, and I love that about her. And so we wanted to make sure to have that all over our beautiful kit. This is the little devotional packet. And we seal it with the washi tape, which at this point I'm realizing I don't have my washi tape in here, so I have to go grab that a little bit. But I want to assure you that it is in there. I just got so excited and had to have it next to me on my desk. <laughs> and these are the little devotional cards. Now, this flower set that she's designed is part of the stamp set, and I am in love with it. Each one has a um, verse on the back. And this one, again, is using that yes and amen phrase that she loves to say and yell and scream and shout again with another verse and then this cute little mason jar um that i just love i think when i think of janelle i think of kind of the country and mason jars and sheep and flowers and that's exactly what we wanted to make sure was a part of this kit now here's the stamp set i have already used my some of my stamps so that's why mine are a little dirty because i couldn't wait you guys it's just so much fun and i always want to make sure that everything is as we expected and hope before we send them out to you guys so I am in love with these flowers. I am going to stamp them on every page for this month, for sure. And then this yes and amen and those cute little typed out phrases that are just so usable for so many things. I can't wait to find out different ways to use them. And then that sheep at the bottom I want to kiss. So there's that. Um, here's the little insert from Janelle, also including a letter from her and her gorgeous face. We just adore her. We are actually doing a retreat together in Italy in September, which we're, I'm super excited because I'll get to meet Janelle for the first time. And here's all the beautiful cutouts. Make sure to cut these out as you're working along or before you even get started. They're just super fun and great to use. And then you have them and it makes your kit just even that much more valuable. So I'm going to put these in here for now and then show you a couple more things. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start reading Janelle's little letter here. Um, because I think it shares her heart. My name is Janelle, and I am humbled and thrilled to spend a few moments with you in this devotional series. Quickly on the screen, I'm going to show you um, how I cut all those out. I am a lover of God's word and the beauty of simple art. They are perfect mix for living and creating a worship-filled life. I just love that, a worship-filled life. That's what we all should want. Again, I'm showing you here some more little um, jars and things that you can cut out and use in your journaling this month. Um, 
I know some of you want to hoard these, which I understand they're so gorgeous, but I encourage you to use them because that's what these are for, is to use in your Bible journaling and as you illustrate your faith in your praise book or your journal or whatever it may be that you're working through this kit. I love to create art right in the devotional as well, so I use a lot of mine in there also. So just kind of keep an eye out and look at what you're using yours for and how you can put those best to use. I love the little words too, the tiny words. They're tiny, but they're so fun. I love that little kind of hand cut look. So here I'm going to show you how I like to um, do this kind of second step stamping with these stamps and show you how I intend to use the flower stamps this month. Um, but I realize again, I'm going to go get the washi really quick. The washi is one of my favorite ones that we've done because it's kind of reminds me of the word fetty stickers that we've put out in that they're these little words that you can use on a million different things and a di million different prompts um, and, and you can use them all over the place and they're, with the white background they'll kind of melt into your Bible page and so that's perfect. The camera's having a hard time picking it up because it's so like transparent and white. I'm trying to help it here but just trust me it is like so stinking cute. Um, I can't wait to use this all over my Bible. Like cut those little phrases out and it will look like you cut them out of paper and stamped them. It's, oh, there it is. And it's going to be so much fun and very versatile. I feel like this set is very versatile. I'll definitely be using that whole roll for sure. So I hope you guys are as excited about that roll of washi as I am. If not, just send me yours. I, I'll send you my mailing address. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, it's so much fun. And that's what's great about these kits is that they have such unique items that you can't find them anywhere else. And so I just love kind of seeing what the artist comes up with and then what we come up with together and how all those things come together in these beautiful kits. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I like to use these stamps. I'm using the green ink and um, an acrylic, the Illustrated Faith Acrylic Block, and just stamping the flowers, which... If you left it just like this, it'd be gorgeous, right? Like, I mean, even if you just left it like this and used that as a journaling card, like done and done, right? I could use these all day long. Um, but I wanted to show you just an extra step that you can do with these. So I'm going to get out my Black Illustrated Faith ink from last month's kit, Lessons and Blessings. And then I'm also using my Faber Castell markers, but you could use any markers here or paint or the Illustrated Faith acrylic paint even. Um, or crayons like you can use whatever you want. I just happen to have these and so there's something that I am constantly grabbing for and I pick always when I get a new kit I pick out colors that kind of match the color scheme of the kit and put those aside to use with the kit so that as I'm working through the kit it's just one less thing I have to kind of think about. I'm adding some little polka dots here just another little element again none of this is necessary to use the stamps it's just some fun details you can add play, have fun, create. It's all about making it yours and making it unique. Plus, who doesn't love polka dots, right? <laughs> so once I'm done coloring here, um, again, I'm going to use that black ink. We also have the black ink available on dayspring.com or your local Christian bookstore. Um, if you didn't get last month's kit, there also are a couple kits left of the lessons or blessings. So make sure to grab that. Maybe get it while you're getting this kit. And I'm just going to dab it on there with my acrylic block and then try to line it up with the previous stamped image. And it's just going to create this really fun artsy effect that I just am in love with. Like, ta-da! Right? It's so fun and so easy. Like, any of us can do that. Look at that. I mean, it's Janelle's artwork, so <laughs> let's be honest. I didn't do really anything but color. But it's so fun and so easy, and I love that I could just make up like 30 cards, journaling cards to go through the whole month of this devotional if I wanted to stretch it out for a whole month and divide it up or if I wanted to make 14, one for each day. However I wanted to kind of make this devotional kit work in my life, I can do that. So I'm stamping the yes and amen because yes and amen, I mean hello. And so then I could just use that simply as a journaling card in the front and back and put it in my Bible. It's gorgeous. I am so smitten with it and I hope you are too. So I hope you are inspired by this kit and just want to jump in and say yes and amen with Janelle Jacobson and just celebrate this wonderful life that he has given us and kind of dive in and soak it all in. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.